Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Coco Styles. And in today's video, I'm just going to make a quick, quick, quick smoothie for you guys. This is what I call my power smoothie. This smoothie has fruits, watercress, and sea moss, my favorite. So what you're going to see is me now just trying to get everything in order, bringing out the cup and stuff so I can put all my fruit in. This is actually the Nutribullet cup. If you guys are wondering, this is the largest cup. I usually drink this throughout the day. Well, not throughout the day. I usually drink this for either a snack or a part of my breakfast because it is a big cup, but it fills me up along with whatever else I'm eating. So I am a little greedy. So I do have a smoothie and a meal, but I, don't, I never get full to the point where I'm stuffed. So I'm just cutting up my strawberries and stuff now. So the reason why I actually stopped cutting off the ends of the strawberries was I read an article about strawberries keeping their sweetness if you kept on the head of the strawberries. So I started trying that the last couple of weeks and I actually like it. So everything is cleaned and what I do is I just pack up everything away in a mason jar, in their own individual mason jar. So my, my strawberries, my blueberries, my cantaloupe, any fruit that I can possibly put into a mason jar, I do. With the exception of my bananas, I just leave those out on the side. And those are actually baby bananas on the side. So you guys will see that once I continue with this. And I'm just going ahead and I'm just going to just continue to pull everything out. And those are my blueberries. I, I never was a big fan of blueberries, but... I will put them in my smoothie because I know it packs so much nutrients. So I'm just putting those in and again, those are also clean too. Like I said, I wash everything prior to me um, putting anything into the mason jars. It just eliminates a step for me throughout the week. So I just wash it on Sundays with all my veggies and stuff and I just kind of pack them away. Those are the baby bananas. So they're very, 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 very ripe. Those are the tiniest bananas on the face of this herb. They're probably like the size of your pinky. However, these are the original bananas. So they say, uh, well, I think they say burrow bananas, but, and then you get the smallest baby bananas. Um, they're considered like the original banana, not hybrid or anything. So these are, I started buying these a couple of years ago and... You guys can see how small it is. Look how big my hands look compared to the banana. <laughs> but hey, I just kind of, I put everything in there. It's all going down one, one way. So now I'm taking my watercress. Watercress has so many nutrients. I'm not sure if you guys know, but I could actually key, uh, link everything below or even um, put everything in the description box for you guys. But watercress is packed with particularly, particularly, <laughs> Um, vitamin K, vitamin K is in here. It's high in, it's high antioxidant content, which may lower your risk of like chronic disease and stuff. Also, it also contains compounds that may prevent certain types of cancers. I, for one, like anything that is cancer preventative because they say cancer runs in my family. So whatever I can do for myself, you know, I will. That's some ginger right there. I used to hate ginger. But I started to pick up ginger probably like a couple of months ago. And I added it to one of my smoothies and it was so amazing. So now that's my new thing. So also watercress also has a lot of heart health benefits. So that's something that you want to kind of pick up. It does have like a spicy kind of flavor. So if you notice, I didn't put too much in there. And that's because it just, it kind of tingles. So between that and the ginger, it's a bit much. However... It is good. So that's the ginger. And I'm just kind of taking off the skin off the ginger. Some people blend the skin. I don't do it. Um, I just can't do it. So I just kind of take off a nice little chunk and put it into my smoothie. And you see me doing that there. And now don't mind the mess, guys. I'm trying to clean it out the way. Um, eventually, I'll try to move it out the way. And that is my sea moss, my Irish moss. Oh, my God. Sea moss has so many minerals in it. If you don't know about sea moss, please look it up. That is something that you should keep in your rotation. Um, sometimes you can get like purple moss. There's a guy on Instagram that actually sells purple moss, but he sells out so fast. But, you know, you can get purple moss. You can get um, regular Irish moss. 
and just kind of just put it into your diet. I know a lot of West Indians, they do um, drink Irish moss. So that's something that I'm used to. Um, and I think you guys should kind of like pick it up, pick it up, put it in your diet or put it in your smoothie. You can actually put it in your food. You can put it in your food. You can put it in anything. So I believe it has 92 minerals out of 102 that our bodies currently have. So to me, that's a power ingredient. So I'm just adding in some spring water. I only use spring water and I actually get my spring water from a local spring water company which I think is an amazing idea. If you can find a local spring water company in your neighborhood or in your city or whatever, and they deliver to you, try getting that. The water that I get, they actually deliver it in like a little bow and tie. It's really nice. And um, it actually comes in a glass bottle. And this water is amazing. I remember when I ended up going to Vegas for my birthday and, um, I already had started to drink this water, but when I got to Vegas, I'm like, okay, well, let me drink some Fiji water because I used to drink it, but it didn't taste good, but I believe it's because I already started drinking this fresh spring water, so I don't know. Th think about it. Think, Look into a local spring water company in your neighborhood and see if they deliver to you, and I'm telling you, you will taste the difference in your water. So anyway, so I'm just here blending it up and oh look how good that looks that's so yummy I can't wait to taste it and I'm probably gonna go get a cup yep I'm gonna get a cup <laughs> I'm gonna get a glass probably picking a nice glass for you guys and I'm going to pour it in and have it for my my snack have it for my snack I'm rinsing the cup off usually when I wash dishes they're clean and stuff but when you leave them in the cabinet, I always feel like there's some sort of dust on it. So I always just do a quick rinse. And here you go. My quick, simple smoothie. And it's done. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.